Hey, what's up guys? How is it going in self-quarantine? I'm actually, I'm, I'm doing pretty well to be honest. I have a <coughs> slight cough and I can't tell if it's a corona cough or a something else cough. So that's cool. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're not leaving the house because we don't want to affect our immunocompromised friends. Today, I'm going to be going through all of my current skincare faves right now because I'm into skincare now because I realized that I needed it. A lot of the stuff I'm going to be showing you, I've only been using really for like the last two weeks. So I haven't seen crazy results yet because I haven't exactly been like super consistent with stuff either because I suck. For my face, I use simple kind to skin. I don't need a lot on my face. I don't really get breakouts that much, thankfully. I've gotten a few just like along my forehead, but I think that's because I went back to using the shampoo I had been using for a while and so my skin's just kind of like, what's going on? Feels light, doesn't make me feel any sort of way. For my face, I really only need things with pretty simple ingredients because I don't get bad breakouts. My other main area of like concern is like my pores. I have very large pores. I don't know if you can tell. So I just need something to kind of clean them out. Along with that, I've been using my Deval Spin Brush that I got using the code TANA for 75% off. Or was it 90? I got this for really cheap and it came with three heads. I use this one on my face and this one for when I wash my chest because my chest acne is not cute. She's getting significantly better since I started using this pan oxal. I honestly didn't even buy this. It was just in my shower because I think my mom got it for my sister. It's 4% benzyl peroxide and antibacterial ingredients. Moving on to makeup removers that I've been using that I really like. First, we have this pure Purific, Purific Rose Micellar Cleansing Water. I got this on clearance at my college's bookstore. I got this and this. I got both of these for like $3 or something stupid because it was super clearance. So I just wanted a micellar water. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry, don't roast me. I wanted it just for makeup removal. It works really well. I like it a lot. What I use first when I'm removing my makeup is these makeup remover cleansing towels. They're just from like Target's Up and Up. Brand. I got 50 for like $5. I like the wipes a lot. Those are solid makeup removers. Doesn't have to be anything super expensive or fancy. They're just simple, simple products. Next, I've used The Ordinary's like chemical peel. I've used it once and I'm using it consistently like once every week for a video and just kind of going through the results. But even after my first time using it, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is different. This is good. I like my skin looked very glowy right after, but I definitely am already really liking this and especially for the cost. I got this one for $16, but I think you can get a smaller one for like $7. The Ordinary has great products. I had a moisturizer from them that I used, but then Pearl, um, ruined it. Last but not least, um, a guilty pleasure of mine is sleep masks. I really like using them. I have three that I really like right now. This brand is what I used the first time I ever used a overnight sleeping mask. This is the time free sleeping mask. I really like this one. I'm almost done with it. So I ended up getting a, another sleeping mask the other day at TJ Maxx for like $4 and it's a hemp and retinol sleeping mask and I'm super excited about this. I actually used this earlier today as just like a moisturizer because I don't have a moisturizer right now that I like because of pearl. I feel refreshed when I wake up in it. My skin definitely has not been dry at all. I've never had a problem with dry skin or oily skin. It just is feeling a lot glowier recently since I've started using the masks more. Another mask I really like is this Lotus Essential mask. I got it at the Korean beauty store in Australia. Um, this is also another Another nice one just when I want to feel a little bit refreshed and ready for the day and a little bit glowier than I might have been otherwise. One more mask that's not like an overnight mask but just one in general is the Walgreens Re Reawaken, Reawaken Peel Off Mask. It smells so good. I love the way this smells and it's just like a nice satisfying mask for, I don't know, like peeling off and just having fun with. You know, you know how it'd be. I really like this mask and it was pretty cheap. It was like $7 for this bottle. 
I don't honestly think that like these kinds of masks are making a huge difference in how my skin looks, but it's all about the process of pampering yourself really and just how it feels to have the face mask on and like how it feels to put the nail polish on. It's a nice feeling and it makes you feel very put together and oh like I care about my skin, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about things that you probably don't care that much about. <laughs> Just kidding, if you didn't care, you wouldn't click the video, right? Right, right, right? Uh, I hope I gave you guys some ideas on other new little skincare things you can try. Um, if you've tried any of these things and you like them, let me know. If you have any recommendations for me, what you think I should use, just for fun or anything, let me know um, in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!